Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, in an earlier video, <clears throat> which is still up, on the Adrian Broner versus John Molina fight, I made the suggestion, based on the odds at that time, that you consider taking Adrian Broner simply to win the fight, hedged with Molina by KO. Right? At that time, the odds allowed it. Right? I don't see Molina beating Broner by decision. I think Broner might win this fight by KO. Certainly, if it goes the distance, I'm expecting Broner to win a wide decision. Well, the casinos have adjusted, right? This battle with casinos is ongoing, right? Your bookie, simply put, is going to adjust. Right now, believe it or not, the odds are such that Adrian Broner to win the fight to minus 900. John Molina to win the fight by KO, TKO, or DQ is a plus 900. So the casinos have adjusted. Let's adjust ourselves. It's the week of the fight. The fight's just a couple days away. Right? Let's change. If you look at Adrian Broner's last four fights, all of them went the distance. Right? Emmanuel Taylor, Carlos Molina, Marcus Maidana, Paulie Malinaji. But understand, Malinaji, Molina, and Taylor are cute fighters who turn you, who force you to box them, who can move a little bit. That's not John Molina. John Molina's a mid-range hooker, right? Understand, Marcus Maidana, the other fight that went the distance, right? Adrian Broner tasted the canvas. He was trying to survive in that fight, right? Here. John Molina's a very hard-punching mid-range hooker. Now, the photos I've seen of Adrian Broner, to me, makes Broner look a little bit puffy. Makes him look like a guy who gains weight between fights. I'll tell you what, folks, that's a recipe for chin problems. Right? You look at the guys who've been badly hurt in fights, and many of them are losing weight to make weight right before that fight. I don't think Brona has the stamina. I don't think he's in shape enough to move for 12 rounds. BoxRec.com is saying that this fight is a 12-round fight, not a 10-round fight. So... I believe the adjusted play here, since the odds no longer allow you to take Broner simply to win, hedged with Molina by Kale, since the odds don't allow that anymore. I believe we have to go to plan B, right? And plan B for me is Adrian Broner to win the fight by Kale at minus 125. Right? By KO, TKO, or DQ. Hedged with John Molina to win the fight by KO, TKO, or DQ at plus 900. Right? Keep in mind what this hedge allows you to do is to put more money on the Adrian Broner side. So let's say I have $40. Hypothetically. Of course. Right? You know what? $30 on Broner would win me $24. Right? 30 to win 54 minus the 30 stake, you win 24 in profit. $10 on Molina would win me $100 minus the 10. $90 net. Right? And so think it through. On a $40 investment, 30 on Broner, 10 on Molina. Right? If Adrian Broner gets the KO, I net $14, right? Just think it through, right? The 24 I would net on just the Adrian Broner side of the aisle minus the $10 that I'm betting on the Molina side of the aisle, I net $14 on a $40 investment. Not bad, more than 30%. 
if lightning strikes and John Molina gets the KO. And keep in mind, Adrian Broner doesn't move as well as Mickey Bay, who made it into the 10th round. Right? Keep in mind, John Molina has been in the ring with harder punchers than Adrian Broner, right? Uh, Lucas Matisse, and even that fight, Molina's in there trading punches, right? An argument can be made, too, that Lucas Matisse is better at not staying in the pocket as long as Adrian Broner, right? If John Molina gets the KO, then I win 90 minus 30, I net $60, right? Better than even money odds on a total $40 outlay. So give it a look. The bet I'm recommending is Broner to win by KO, TKO, or DQ at a minus 125 hedged with John Molina to win by KO, TKO, or DQ at a plus 900. Right? The casino is going to keep you up late at night. You see the background here. Crunching numbers. Right? The point is the casino has drained the pool of water on this bet. You can no longer just take Broner to win head with Molina by KO. So we're going to have to be a little bit crafty here. Right? Since Broner's suits are fitting him a little bit too tightly. We're now going to shift to Broner by KO hedged with Molina by KO. Give it a look. Understand the risk involved. There are some fights. Vitaly Klitschko, Shannon Briggs, that somehow found a way to go the distance. I still don't know how, right? Adrian Broner found a way to go the distance against Marcus Maidana, right? Just understand, there is the risk of loss here. But I'm going to predict a stoppage here to try to get an edge on the casino. That's how I see it. Let me know how you see it. Leave your comments for all of us here in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.